Let me ask you a question, YouTube. Have you ever looked up? Let me ask you a question, YouTube. Are you in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s? Heck, even in your 60s, and you've said at some point in your life, man, where did the time go? Man, time flies so fast, and you can't even remember some of the things that you've done. The problem is, man, maybe somebody else been creating your life for you, and you ain't even paid attention. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some tips on how you can create your life so that nobody else can create your life for you. Do me a big favor, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can always get notified when I go live by hitting that notification bell. Drop a comment in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up if you're really feeling it. Let's go ahead and get into the antidote. Because today, we're gonna talk about the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something. Y'all know I love having y'all all up in y'all feelings because especially to do something creative. I want you guys to create, man. I really do. I want you to create. Today's topic was inspired by, by this young lady right here. Her name is Kayla Hart, and she is a participant in my hashtag 2020 vision group. You know, we, we trying to start 2020 off with a bang, and you know strength is in numbers, and I've ran challenge groups month after month after month. But let me tell you, today is 13, and in 12 days, she, she's, she started to experience some great results. Now, she's not in sales. She has her own per personal goals that she wanted to accomplish, and we talk quite a bit. And let me show you the video that she sent me last night. Check this out. Good morning, Marcus. Thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to be a part of your show this morning, as well as the opportunity to be a part of your challenge group so far this year. It has been such a blast being a part of your accountability group, um, feeding off of the energy from all of the other group members as well as our one-on-one -on -one time has been instrumental in me starting to achieve the goals I have for myself this year. A couple of examples being uh, goals in my professional life. Um, due to your instruction and your guidance, I have written down my goals in various places around my apartment as well as the, uh, the daily planner that you've provided to us for our use. And because I have written down my goals and I'm being very intentional about what my goals are, I have already succeeded in achieving, well, I've already been successful in the road to achieving my goals by the end of the year. So again, thank you so much for everything that you have done, for everything that you're going to continue to do for me. I cannot say enough great things. I encourage anyone and everyone to reach out to Marcus for any type of goal setting that they have, and I'm super excited to see where the rest of the year takes me. Thank you so much, and have a great day. That's right, in 12 days, this girl is changing her life like no other. We talk all the time, she says that it's a constant struggle, and it's a little bit different, and she's working her way through it. Persistence, that's the big ticket item. Knowing that she's not gonna be perfect, but having that willpower to just stay consistent and persist and push through the pain, push through the struggle, and again, She's not even in sales. See, one thing you guys got to understand is that my challenge groups are not meant for people who are just in sales. What's really great is when you're in sales, you're in performance-based businesses, but this applies to everybody. This is life-changing stuff. It has nothing to do with your skill set whatsoever. What's most important is she's taking the steps to create her life, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Create the life that you want, or it will be created for you. And I know that there's some people that feel me on that. If you're not creating your life, somebody's creating it for you. If you don't have the vision, if you don't have, if you can't see into the future and vision what your life is going to be like, you'll look up one day in your 30s, 40s, 50s and say, where in the world did life go? You can't even remember it because it's been created by somebody else. So today, I'm going to give you tips on how you can start creating your own life. Let's go ahead and get into the antidote. Today's topic is based off of execution. It's a noun meaning to take action, to put a plan in motion, and make things happen today. Stop talking and start doing. It all starts with execution, people. We can talk all we want, but until you start applying that action, it means absolutely nothing. So stop all the yapping and let's get to the action. Number one. You have to say that my vision for life is, I mean, this takes some planning, this takes some preparation, this takes some isolation, this takes some alone time, this takes you sitting down by yourself, unbothered, untethered, break away from social media, break away from your family. This involves you and you because again, at this point, what we're trying to do is to create our life and it all starts with the vision. How many of you guys have actually sat and thought about the vision of where you want your life to go? And not only just thought about where you wanted it to be, I'm talking about have deep, powerful meanings. I mean, 
a, a big a big part of what I can tell you about this is when I decided to start working on balance in my life. It, it happened a few years ago because I was just always go, 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 success, 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 driven, 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 and I was just scatterbrained. I wanted to be great at everything that I did in my life. And then somebody hit me with this quote. They say, <laughs> what was the quote they say? They say, you are a, um, a jack of all trades, but a master of none. You know what, that that really hit home with me. Somebody told me that several years ago. You're a jack of all trades, but a master of none because you can't, you can't narrow your scope, you can't narrow your field down to just becoming an expert at one particular thing. And that really hit home with me. And that's really started when I started working on this thing called balance. And when I envision things now, I've narrowed down that scope even further to the things that's what's most important in my life and the things that will make me happy because 2020 and beyond is all about chasing happiness, not chasing other people's happiness, not worrying about other people's happiness but worried about my happiness because it all starts with me and my vision for example my my uh my my uh goal for one of this years to travel outside of the country and I have an awesome destination. And let me tell you, you know, they say your dreams should be so big, they scare you. I thought I had accomplished that when it came to travel, but mm -mm, it's some more places that scare me even more. And let me tell you, when it gets a little scary, what I do is I sit there and I isolate myself and I start visualizing it. I start visualizing me at specific places at specific times, at specific sunrises and sunsets and blue hours and overlooking this place and that place. I can't tell y'all where it is yet. It's going to be a surprise to many. Only a few people know, but it all starts with a vision. So I need you guys for the sake of your life, for the sake of your journey, for the sake of your success, for the sake of your happiness, isolate yourself and start with a vision and ask yourself that question. Well, statement, my vision for my life is plan it out, map it out, start to see it, start to visualize it, start getting the emotions going and then get your button action. Well, let's go ahead and get into number two. Number two, switch that camera angle. My vision for my work, career and team is blank and it's your job to fill in the blank. Now, we go through this go through this work journey and, and and a lot of my loyal doses you guys are in sales you guys are in performance based business and the great thing about our business is there's no income like salary cap like nobody tells you how much you're worth you decide how much you're worth and it all starts with goals dreams and visions right but unfortunately the majority of us go through our workspace just winging it it's like we, we start out as a new person and, and, and it's all great. You know, we're, our eyes are wide open. We're ready to absorb everything that comes our way. We want to learn as much as possible, as fast as possible, so we can go ahead and apply it and start getting the results. And what's really cool is you start out getting the results, right? It starts out great because it's fresh in your mind. It's the first thing on your mind. You remember they told you to do this and A plus B equals C and you're going to get it, right? And then somewhere along the lines, we kind of plateau. Anybody know that? You know how you know you plateaued? It's because when somebody asks you, like, how much volume do you do? Or how many units? Or how many houses? Or how many cars? Or how many policies? You say, I average around blah, blah, blah a month. See, that lets you know that you've kind of plateaued. If you're not constantly increasing and moving the needle a little bit better and trying to strive for more and more greatness, you're plateauing. And you got to have the vision to prevent yourself from plateauing. And when you create one goal, there's nothing wrong with If you're in a performance-based business where there's no salary cap, that's part of the reason that you got in it because you don't want a boss or somebody telling you how much you're worth an hour or how much they're going to pay you per year. If you got in the business because you say the harder that I work, the more you get paid. Why wouldn't you work harder to get paid more if that's what you're there to do? Envision what it will be like to accomplish what you want to. Daydream about it. Dream about it. Go to lunch and just think about it all the time. When it's in the forefront of your mind, that's when the amazing things happen when you envision it. See, some of us just wake up, get in the shower, drive in a car, listen to some music, get to work, and, and we just wing it. There's no plan. We're just going to sit there and wait for something to happen. Mr. Zach per tweet, can I get a hallelujah? I can't get a hallelujah yet because I said hallelujah. 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 Uh, let me go ahead and cut this off. Some of you guys don't have a plan of action. You just go there and you're just like, I'm just, I'm just going to wait for something to happen. I'm just going to wait for people to come through the door. I'm going to wait for the phone to ring. I'm going to wait for the internet to send me an email notification. Where is your plan? Where's your vision? I'm pretty sure the way your goals and your dreams are set up, they weren't set up for you to wait for something to happen. They were set up for you to make something happen. Maybe you're not dreaming big enough. Maybe maybe you're comfortable where you're at. Maybe 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 the status quo benefits you. But again, if you're in a performance-based business that you chose that you love, 
You should not be satisfied with the status quo. You were not put on this earth to be average. God, when he was creating you, when he had his little God Rubik's Cube and was making everything, your DNA and all that kind of stuff, he didn't say, hmm, let me go ahead and throw this average person out into the universe. Absolutely not. Are you crazy? No. Start with the vision of what you want to accomplish and then go for it every single day, relentlessly, nonstop. It's so funny I talk about Relentless because I actually just picked up a book this morning called Relentless by Tim Grover. He was the one who trained Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, and it's all about mindset. Let me tell you, I've been studying successful people for a while now, and I'm trying to tell you it has nothing to do with their physical capabilities. That has something to do with it, but I'm telling you, the majority of it starts here. Anybody know somebody that's got a whole bunch of talent that's really great, but you always say something to the extent of, you know what? That, per that person just is, is this close away from where they want to be, but you know, they just, they just lazy or, or they just like, I don't understand why they just don't apply it every single day. It's because of this right here. They don't have the ability to have those mental breakthroughs. They stay broke down so much that they don't have the capacity to make the breakthrough. And I just posted it in my Facebook stories yesterday. Sometimes you got to break down to have that breakthrough, but some people stay broke down too long because of the lack of vision. It all starts right here. Last but not least, number three, my vision for my relationship and family is. Now, this one, whoo, let me tell you, I didn't talk to a lot of people and I had to do some self-evaluation on this as well. You can't neglect the home front. It's equally important. And I know it's hard. You want to know why I know it's hard? Because I experienced it. And I still experience it. It's really hard, but you have to have a vision for your family and your relationship too. You have to be able to look into the future and see where you want to be at with your spouse. You got to think about all the places you want to go, all the things that you want to experience, all the crazy, crazy things that you want to accomplish. You have to think about that as well. You can't just say, you know, I put all my time and dedicate it into work so I can pay the bills and provide the life we want. Absolutely not. Because once you realize that all these material things are going to start to deteriorate and depreciate, the material things don't matter anymore. It's all about the experiences. You're not going to remember like like those 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 material things are going to be a figment of your imagination. You're going to talk about it for a brief second and move on because it's irrelevant. But those experiences, the things that you actually do together, the things that you experience together, the the warmth, the the crazy times, the fun times, those are the things that you're going to be talking about forever, but it all starts with a vision. How often do you sit there and visualize what your future looks like in your household? Now, that is something right there. Can I get a hallelujah, Zach Pertwee? Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. How often do you visualize what your future is going to look like in your household? It's really important. And it's some deep digging that I had to personally do myself because I was just so dedicated to the grind, 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 go, go, go. That was an area that I lacked too. You're not alone, dosers. I'm, I'm there with you. I'm telling you from, from, from doser himself, dose master himself to you, I've been there. But in order to create this balance and to create the life that you want, you have to start visualizing. If it doesn't even enter your mind, it has no ability to start happening. I'm going to say it again for the people all the way in the back. If it doesn't enter your mind, it has no ability to start happening. It all starts with your vision. Now, we talked about tunnel vision before, creating, creating this mental space, putting the blockers on, just like the horses at the Kentucky Derby. Leanne Ryan Smith know all about that. Sometimes you got to block that out. You got to block that out and stay to the vision. Let's go ahead and recap for the people who came a little bit fast, really late. We're talking about creating your life so that nobody else can create your life for you. You don't look up in 10, 15, 20, 30 years and figure out where has life gone. Develop that plan of action. Start with your vision and let's go places. Hashtag Toyota. Uh, <laughs> number one, start with the vision for your life. Start to see it. I mean, literally, close your eyes. I started this meditation thing. Man, it's crazy. It's really crazy. It works phenomenally. Close your eyes and just visualizing places you want to go, things you want to do, things you want to accomplish, reaching whatever goal, accomplishing it, and, and whatever your definition of success is, envision it happening. It should give you goosebumps. It should give you chills. It should, it should light a fire up under your butt to get things going. Number two, your vision for your work, career, and team. I don't care what level you are at your job. I don't care if you're a custodian. I don't care if you're at the bottom of the salesperson's hole. I don't care if you're you're the boss i don't care if you're a manager i don't care if you're the ceo of the company it simply does not matter 
You did some great things to get you all the way there, but the things that got you there is not going to keep you there. And I know you're not satisfied being the status quo or where you're at right now. You have the ability to go further, and it's always going to start with a vision. And last but not least, the vision for your relationship and the family. You cannot let that dwindle because you can be great at your job. You can be great at visualizing, but if you don't have that circle complete, you're missing out. What good is having all this stuff and these dreams and accomplishments if you don't have nobody to share it with on a consistent basis? Well, I feel really good about today's show. How y'all feeling? I'm sweating under here a little bit. It got hot in the dough studio. I was trying to burn this thing down. Here's the deal, guys. Check out my website. Go to marketstone.com. I'm getting fancy with it. That's your way to check out all my social links. Follow me on Twitter. Check out the One Minute Doses on the Instagram channel. If you just need that one minute of positivity or, or inspiration to start your day or motivate you, check check it out. Check out my bio. Just check out the site. I pay for it. And that's a good way to get you some swag too, man. Y'all see I got the dough swag. Get you some shirts, a hat, a snapback, a, or a dose bag or whatever. Just, just head on over to the website and support. I appreciate it. But if you are new and you're trying to figure out how can I catch this thing every single day, type in the Daily Dose Show in Facebook search bar go to it hit the like button hit the thumbs up uh the three dots underneath change those notification settings so you can always figure out when i go live and last but not least this is the one that you're going to want to share out to your buddies and your co-workers and your friends the people that need to hear this message if you didn't tag them in an episode head on over to my youtube page and subscribe all you got to do is type my name in marcus stone and then 20 minutes after the that Dose Show airs live. I will put a link in the comments section so it'll take you straight to the antidote. You can blow past all the shout outs and stuff like that and just get straight to the message. The average episode is anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. Check out the outro. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to the Daily Dose. I hope you got your antidote today. Your daily dose of positivity, inspiration, and motivation. Check me out every Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time Zone on Facebook Live. And don't forget to Hulk smash that share button. I do what I do from the heart and I don't expect anything in return. I'm a kid from the south side of Chicago that's here to make the world smile and change people's lives. Y'all have a fantastic week. Peace.